early spring here in New England, and at our house that means baby chicks. It takes 21 days for the chick to grow inside the egg. This is the father. He's a rooster named Lefty. And this is the mother hen. Her name is Tippy. They're a breed of chicken called the White Crested Polish. This is one of their baby chicks, only five days old. I'd like to draw you a baby chick, so follow along. It's fun. I'm going to start out by drawing a oval shape, and it's tipped a little bit on the side. Next, I will be putting a circle, which will form the chick's head on top. Lastly, where his leg's going to go will be another circle, and that will form the chick. Now I'm going to take this paper away because I just wanted to give you an idea about what it would look like. But I'll start with the chick's head, and the little beak is very small, and there's where that oval shape would come down. And it's little back. And that's where the tail's going to grow, isn't it? Right in the center of that circle will be the chick's eyes. And I'm going to fill it in with completely black with a little white mark, which is a sparkle in its eye. And when you draw the beak, you can make a line right in the middle so he can open his mouth up. And chicks have very big feet and very big voices. <laughs> they make a very loud peeping noise. And they have three toes on each foot in the front and then in the back is a much smaller one. With an exception of some kinds of breeds that have five toes. There's this three toes on both sides. And its little wing hasn't got any feathers yet. But there it is. So there's your baby chick. And I'd like to color him in for you. Every kind of chicken has a different color chick. Sometimes they're light gray, sometimes they're pale yellow, and sometimes they're light brown and have little chipmunk stripes. So I think I'll draw you um, pale yellow chick. I'm going to start with an outline and just shade that in a little bit so it gives him a little bit of a roundness. Just going around very lightly with my gray all around the baby chick. There's his wing and I'm going to give a, sp a lot of attention to his eye because I want him to have lots of expression. And I think I'm going to have him look, oh, he looks a little sad there. Make him look like he's a little bit worried, like, what's good? Where's my mother? And a little shadow forms where his feet come down. Now, most of my baby chicks have got kind of pinkish beaks and feet. So I'll put that in next. And those little feet are nice and warm when to touch them. And on the end of each toe is a little teeny tiny toenail. And now I'm going to find my yellow color. Rinse my brush. came out a little bit more orange than I wanted. I'll try again. There, there's that more of a yellow color. And my little Polish chicks had a very pretty black spot on their back. And not all chicks would have that. But I'm going to make this one of those little Polish chicks that will be a white crested black when it grows up. And this is wet, but it won't matter because that's exactly the way the spot will look. It will kind of be softer color in the edges. 
And there's that little spot on his black back. Now, you could put little spots on your chick, or you could make little stripes right here. It would be like a chipmunk. And that would be silver gray dorkings have that kind of pattern when they're babies. And here is a Rhode Island white, which would be the pale yellow chick. And here's one that's a little bit orange colored. It's a red shoulder Yokohama. And this is what I have, a silver lace Wyandotte. So I have some of those hens, and they are little gray babies. Very cute. Have a great time coloring your chicks. Every color you can imagine.